Time to play with some clay. Well, it's taken me, well, all week to get here. I was here, I think yesterday or the day before, for a little while, but uh, I had other things start happening and I had to quit. So here I'm back again. I've got the next couple hours to work on this uh, horse. Um, went and got my eyes checked on Monday. So it's been a full week already. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to be using this uh, horse head by uh, an artist friend of mine who used to sell them. I think they sell them, but I, I can't remember where they sell them now. It's the same gentleman that sculpted the uh, horse in the background there. Um, makes a great uh, uh, reference for the muscles of the horse's face. I forgot I had this. I, I just found it uh, on a shelf back here in the back part of my uh, studio or garage. Boy, it seems like I'm taking an awful long time on these horses. And this is only one horse. This is not even the other two. I haven't even started them yet. Anyway, I've got some new eyeglasses coming, which is going to help me a lot to see better, hopefully. Time to get started on the body of the horse. I've done all I can do on the face of the horse right now. And uh, this is the horse that's going to have the warrior on it. And uh, so I'm going to prepare it so I can do the, human, the figure that goes on this. Uh, horse. It's all a matter of getting the lights adjusted so you can see what the heck you're doing, what the, the muscles are looking like. As I said in a previous video, a sculptor, all he does is move shadows around. That's all he does. I'm going to use one light. 
this because I've got to control the uh, light source. And I'm going by this leg that's stretched back. And uh, it emphasizes this muscle that comes down from the hip, the point of the hip. And where it attaches to the uh, knee area of the horse. Alright, I didn't show it because it's it's actually covered in my DVDs on creating a horse. I did the uh, horseshoes, or horseshoes, <laughs> I did the hooves uh, off camera, but uh, I made them out of uh, monster clay. I, uh, you're going to have to wait for those things to harden up, and that's going to take a while, little while. Um, I got the ones for the back uh, hooves uh, ready to go, uh, but I won't do those until I get to that area. Uh, but uh, I wanted to get the uh, front hooves at least positioned proportionally so that they're the same distance from the joint here down to there. And uh, that's as far as I'm going to get today because it's uh, getting late in the evening. I got a late start. A lot of it had to do with getting a full set of my DVDs out to a, a gentleman back east. And uh, I wanted to get those out to him today instead of tomorrow. And so I worked real hard overnight and this morning to get the uh, things ready and go to the post office. So it just took time. Um, I, I'm not complaining. I mean... I love uh, being able to uh, supply people with my videos. Anyway, I uh, got at least this part done. And I got the face of the horse uh, to the point where I'll work on it a little bit more. Fine tune it, but it's uh, got the basics there. So, I'll come back uh, hopefully tomorrow and uh, get back on this uh, clay. I can't promise any day because uh, I've got uh, things that come up that uh, I just don't know until they come up. Um, also, I've got 
my eyeglasses I'm going to have to pick up, but I don't know when that's going to be. And when they do call me or email me, I'll uh, have to go to Bozeman to get them. All right, everybody, uh, have a great night, and I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.